there, Gina Hamby here with Help for Homeschoolers and today I'm going to give you my insider secrets. I'm going to take you behind the scenes to my house to where I go into my homeschool closet. Why am I doing that? Because I want to help you bring organization. So the number one tip to keep your sanity and to make you feel like school isn't spilling over into the entire house is to have a dedicated landing spot. Now that can be baskets, um, that could be a, a shelf, um, it could be in, on a bookshelf, it could be anywhere, anywhere you choose. Um, in our couple different houses, the first house was we had a homeschool bookshelf that was actually in our master bedroom closet. I just asked my husband to throw up shelves in there to bring some order. Here in this house, I took a coat closet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what does it look like, all right? So come on in, and I'm gonna show you how to bring some order into your homeschool. All right, so I said, everything gets a landing spot. Now what I mean by that is, all right, here's one example. So each child, their stack of books, so their language workbook and their um, any kind of notebook where they take notes for all their subjects. Um, so for language arts, maybe they're reading a book, whatever book they're reading as part of their unit for language arts, go ahead and stick that and tell them, all right guys, school's done for today. Go take all your books, put them in the closet. And so it can be anywhere. You just put it down on a closet. So each kid, they get their own pile. Or if you want, you can do something like this. You can have baskets, and this is what I was talking about, baskets. This is great, especially for little kids. You tell them, all right, go put your school books away. Then the new day rolls around, and you say, all right, guys, go get your school books, and, or go get your basket, and they can bring everything out to you. So everything's in a basket. It can be any kind of basket. It can be a tote, a Tupperware, anything, okay? So we just want everything to have a landing spot. Now. I want you to come here and look inside the closet and I'm gonna be very transparent with you. The closet did not look like this yesterday morning. But yesterday afternoon, I wanted to make this video for you because typically once a year, I would go into the homeschool closet and I would organize everything. Now, a couple times of the year, at least you're gonna to have to straighten it up. But this is what I wanna show you. I want you to put everything together by subject. So, um, of course, this, we're done our homeschooling as of last year, so yours is going to be more bottom shelf. But up here I have math, and then I have language arts. Here I have anything that is science, and I kind of grouped them like anatomy books, um, nature books, animal books, experiment books, anything from our house. So what you're going to find as you're homeschooling is people are often going to give you something they think is helpful, a, a good book, a reference book, some magazines, whatever subject it has to do with, I want you to put it in that section. And maybe, maybe you want to go through your house. Maybe you have a bookshelf here and maybe a stack of books over there. Well, I want you to go around and collect them and put them all in one spot because here's the thing, when you're maybe talking about the weather and you go outside and your kid wants to ask you about the stars or the constellations, um, why the, what's the sun doing today? Why is it cloudy? Um, I want you to say to yourself, okay, well, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna to go to the homeschool cabinet and I'm gonna have a look-see of what I've got to meet this need. And everything will be right there. Anything you have to do with science, all your books is gonna be right here. Um, then I put anything history and that includes like classic books. We would read these um, childhood of famous Americans. I put that in here. I put um, audio CDs. I'd let the kids listen like during quiet time. I'd let them listen to an audio CD story. Um, it's videos like we studied the Civil War. So I'm putting the Civil War videos here. So everything's in one spot. That way when I go to teach a subject and I want to make it more interesting I can go here as if it's my own library and choose some books for it. Um, so everything, here is my binders of my, every year we had a review and I would create a binder with their work and pictures. I told you about this in another video. Go look for that if you haven't seen that yet. Um, also, baskets for your pens and pencils. I have their games in here as well. There's more, but I kind of cleaned it up a little bit for you. 
And then reference. So if you have dictionaries, thesauruses, I can't say that, but they're in here. Any flashcards, just put them in a tote. Um, also supplies. So like, I wasn't very good about teaching them cursive, but I should have <laughs> pulled these out. But I have them in here, but I would often reference this. So I just have this in my own teaching basket. I also, another teaching tip I wanna throw in here real quick is when I wanted to do math with them, and instead of just saying it, I would love to get a whiteboard, and I'd write two plus two equals four, four and I'd let them practice themselves. So this is a great tip, uh, dry erase marker, dry erase board, that's great. Okay, um, another thing. All right, so you've got a specific landing spot for your books. What about all the loose papers? I would get a clipboard. It could be a clipboard like this, a clipboard like this, and I kept all of their schoolwork. So if it was loose schoolwork and I hadn't yet put it in the binder, let's say, okay, we did, I made this page for you, what I learned today. So let's say we filled this out and it's the end of the day and I don't feel like putting it in the binder. So I'm just gonna put any loose papers in here. I kind of would collect them. Otherwise, I would just kind of clip it to the clipboard. And here on the front of it, on the front, I would put all the subjects because sometimes we forget we, we want to stay on track. So I listed all the subjects that I had hoped to cover for that semester and I know exactly what to do, what exactly what I'm going for. Also, I would keep on here my log. So this is so every day I'm filling it out according to what we done we had done, and that's a good way to stay organized. And then as they get into high school. I would also put their high school record forms in here where they have the hour check boxes. And that's something I'll show you later. I'll talk more about record keeping in, in future videos, so look for those. But this is a great way to keep all loose papers somehow all together like this. All right, so let me tell you, a reason that sometimes we get frustrated is because we feel no organization. Creating a closet where you bring some organization to your homeschooling, yeah, it's gonna take you some time. It'll take you time to like clear a spot out. You can just buy a cheap bookcase, um, a small one, and you can put it into a closet. It doesn't have to be that your husband builds you shelves or whatever your situation is. It will take some time, but you will feel such relief once you bring some order. So make the investment of time gather all of your supplies, all of your books, bring some order to it. Also, another great thing about a closet, one of my favorite parts, <laughs> let's say your mother-in-law stops by very unexpectedly towards the middle of the day and you don't want her to see all of your homeschool mess, I would say, oh my goodness, guys, hurry up, my mom's here. Grab your books, go put them in your spot, go put them in your basket, and then quickly, it just feels like everything is done, everything is put away, and then you close the door, and it feels like closure, like one good day, we did all of our written work, now we can relax. Now, the home, yes, you want it to be a place of learning, but it's such a blessing to bring some order to your days. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If this is helpful to you, or if you know somebody this would be very helpful to, would you share this with them? I think it would be an encouragement to them. I'm so proud of you. You're doing great. Relax. Don't forget to smile. You're doing a great job. All right, talk to you soon.